Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to talk about Alignment Planner Workspace again, but I'm reframing it. I'm not getting the traction I thought I would on that new workspace. It's an incredibly useful new feature, but my videos just aren't hitting the mark. So I'm going to try to approach this a little bit differently. And I want to frame this as, how do you get your objectives and key results, your OKRs, into service now? This is something that people typically couldn't do before. When I got on calls with customers and they did, they're doing OKRs and they're managing at that at the enterprise level and the department level and the individual level, you couldn't do it in ServiceNow. Well, I'm here to tell you you can. We can finally do OKRs in ServiceNow. What's an OKR? An OKR is a goal. I have it up on Wikipedia beside me or behind me. I'll just get out of the way here. An OKR is a goal with a couple of object or key results that you look to obtain from that goal. That's it. That's all an OKR is. It's a fancy name for a goal framework, right? That's exactly what ServiceNow called their new framework is the goal framework. So let's hop into Alignment Planner Workspace because I think I really need to hit how important this is for managing goals inside ServiceNow. So with the May release, we got the ability to expose the goal framework in the Alignment Planner workspace. The goal framework came in San Diego, it was available, but now we can do it within the workspace. So if you watch my previous video, I'll put a link at the top. I've got a new menu over here, and one of those new menu items is goals. So I can click on my goals and actually start looking at those, creating them, measuring my progress towards completing them. Here's one that already exists. I've got improve customer retention as the goal. The key results are achieve 90% customer retention and achieve an NPS of greater than 24 for our customers. Those are two goals that I can track my progress towards completion. Right now I'm at 0%. So let's actually open one of these up. I'm gonna open up achieve 90% customer retention. Of course it's gonna open up behind my head. And we can see here my measurement is a percentage. My type is I wanna maximize this, right? So I wanna increase, I wanna to get to you know 100%, or in this case, uh, 90%. Um, my base value is 85, my target is 90. So we're, we're starting at 85, we're headed towards 90. Let's say that I've made some progress on this and now I am 87%. And I think I'm still green because I have until December 30th to actually complete this particular goal. So I have everything I need at my fingertips to measure my progress towards this goal, measure my key results as I try to attain this goal. So look what ServiceNow did in the background. We have here my improved customer retention, and I'm now for my target, my key result, I've achieved 90% customer retention, I'm at 40%. So now we're at 40% for that particular goal. That means for my overall goal, I'm at 20%. Okay, everybody, please, do you see how useful this is? Objectives and key results, goals and targets, as we refer to them in service now. This is where the magic is. Go do awesome things with Alignment Planner Workspace and with the goal framework. Please, I'm begging you, this is good stuff. You need to start using it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.